Hey guys, my name is Zertz, and today I'm going to show you how to stream Apex Legends with a minimal CPU usage. Let's talk about that. Before we get started, make sure to follow my Twitch channel. Link is down below. Alright guys, so I just launched Apex Legends on my computer. Now this is without the software I recommend you getting. Right now, as you can see, I am just in the lobby. My CPU is around 50%. This is just recording the video and my GPU is at 99%. Now you're probably wondering, how do you fix that? So uh, today I'm gonna show you how you can actually fix this problem and what software to use. So you're gonna wanna go to your browser and you're gonna wanna search on your browser is Riva Tuner Statistics Server. Now, you're gonna to wanna to go to this, this top link, the uh, River Turner Statistics Server Download. You wanna click that. And I recommend you scroll all the way down to the bottom, unless you're trying to get MSI Afterburner as well onto your computer. If that's a personal choice, if you wanna monitor your GPU's uh, you know, temperature, you could download that as well. But I recommend you scroll down to the bottom, get the latest version of River Tuner Statistics Server. So download that. I don't need to because I already have it on my computer. And once you go through the installation process, you want to go back and I suggest you pin it to the taskbar because every time you play Apex Legends or want to stream Apex Legends at high quality, you're going to want to open it up before you open up the program. So. It'll look like this, this little icon in your taskbar with the 60, the RTSS. Launch that. It's going to have you accept. And once it loads and processes, then it should be not officially opened. So you'll see it at the bo bottom right hand corner here. You're going to want to click that. And up pops up this little window so you're going to want to use the exact settings i have because i've tested this out multiple times and i highly recommend that you guys use these depending on your computer's power i currently have a gtx 1070 and an i7 7700k with 16 gigabytes of ram and it still causes this much usage on my computer so i suggest do not turn the window detector to none because some games anti-cheats will think that it is a cheating software but it is not it's simply to reduce the load on your gpu and cpu so you have room for obs on your one pc rig so put the application detection level at low stealth mode off like i said if you check this also you, you might be in a situation where an anti-cheat thinks you're cheating and i have a frame rate limit put on it depends on what monitor you have i do have a 144 hertz monitor but i'm streaming i do lower the fps because it's still so intensive especially because i stream at 1080p 60 frames per second that is just it's too much to play on, on 144 frames per second and to output at that high of quality so i suggest you Turn it to Vector 3D, Viewport, On-Screen to Play Shadow. That's if it doesn't really mean anything. That's if you have the FPS counter at the top left corner, which is shown right here. But that's just a personal choice. Um, I personally don't have it because I think it adds even more usage to your GPU and CPU. But anyways, so with all these settings applied, you're going to want to minimize the tab. Do not exit, minimize it. So it goes back into the tray, okay? And what you're gonna wanna do is relaunch Apex Legends. All right, guys, so we have just relaunched Apex Legends. And as you can see, look at the usage difference. 37% for Apex Legends on the CPU and a high of 47% in the lobby. That is a drastic difference obviously you can you don't you some of you might not have to cap the frames 
on your game but i personally have to probably because of the amount of strain on my gpu that this game takes and because it's a little bit of an outdated card now but like i said it's a huge difference lets you be able to stream the game play it smoothly and it does not take anything away from your gameplay i highly recommend you guys do this and like i said it's easy simple just launch it before you start up apex legends happy streaming hope this helped comment down below if it did help you out and make sure to drop a like if you want to see more tutorial videos and hit that subscribe button and like i said earlier in the video make sure to follow my twitch which is linked down below i stream apex and a bunch of other games thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys later